Earlier this year, I sat in on an amazing panel that highlighted some of the best data-driven news stories from recent years, produced by some of the best business, finance, and education journalists out there. But as I sat there as a culture editor, I thought, we should be doing the same thing. We should be employing data techniques to help us do our jobs better too. We know that good data journalism often utilizes public records, visualizations, and interactive storytelling techniques. But what could happen if we use a data approach and applied it to all of the culture, opinion, and analysis that's out there on the internet? Numbers provide a very important context to cultural trends for everything from music to art to social media and to race and identity. But we won't always find this kind of data in a public record. But the good news is that we can count anything, and anything we count can be data. And in subtle ways, we're already doing this. For example, Fusion writer Akila Hughes counted tweets to see how often YouTube was promoting its creators of color. The answer was that they weren't doing it enough. So my next step is to try a data-driven approach on the culture beat. Let's find and create our own data sets and use them to tell great culture stories.